Hey everyone, welcome to Recruitment Marketing Machine Online Summit, and I'm your host, Roy Ripper. Um, this is the online summit that's gonna teach you how to generate more clients, more candidate leads on autopilot for your recruitment business. And I'm so excited today. My guest today is Mr. Brad Wachter. Um, Brad is the CEO of uh, Senior Living Recruiters, Dot com senior living recruiters that's his web uh, his url as well we'll have all of the links below but let me tell you the reason why i'm really excited to have brad on is that unlike many of the the, the speakers brad actually you may have guessed just from uh, you know the, the the business name that he operates he runs his own recruitment business so he's just like you okay um, and one of the things that um, I'm really keen to find out is how Brad has embraced um, specifically Facebook, because he's been doing some great stuff on Facebook that I know he wants to talk to us about today, but how he's embraced Facebook, because a lot of recruitment business owners, Brad, I hope you don't mind me kind of saying this. First of all, Brad, welcome to the show. Well, it's, it's great to be here. Thanks, Roy. Hey, listen, we're really pleased to have you here. Brad, I, I'm so sorry because I started kind of talking there about, uh, you know, recruitment business owners. And then I'm thinking, hang on a second, Brad knows this stuff too. Brad, there'll be there'll be owners watching this, recruitment business owners watching this that, um, you know, probably like me, you know, old school recruiters, been doing it a number of years. And uh, I know in my own case, I understood old school recruiting as being selling I didn't really understand marketing, if I'm being honest. I didn't even know how to spell marketing uh, until about 10 years ago. Um, but look, recruitment businesses, why do you think they fail on the marketing side of their business? Why do we fail as an industry uh, on the marketing side? Well, you know, I think, uh, Roy, um, that's a good question. Uh, I think part of it is just, uh, you know, that it, it didn't used to be emphasized. So kind of that, that old school mentality that um, this is how you do things. So, you know, the industry has been a bit slow in catching up with other industries and how to, how to market. Um, I think, uh, you know, another thing is uh, recruiting goes in cycles, right? Uh, you, you're, you get so busy doing the actual uh, sourcing of candidates, you kind of forget about bringing in business and then then you know comes back around where you you need to fill the pipeline again so um, you know that that uh, I think just uh, yeah but marketing is the way to go right you you need to constantly have people know about you so that when the time is right they, they know to reach out to you absolutely you know Brad it's funny you, you just described there it's so true isn't it it's that cycle and I I like to call it the roller coaster of recruitment that we uh, you know, we're really busy working on stuff. We've got enough positions and we're really busy sourcing. And then that starts to dip. And then all of a sudden we, we need to pick it up again in terms of our new business generation. Uh, and we, you know, we get full up and we get busy again. And I've got to say, that was my career. You know, my, my recruiting career was very much like that roller yeah. coaster. And I think marketing um, helps to kind of minimize that. I was going to say eradicate. It's not the, it's not the, you know the, the the golden sorry the silver bullet for everything but it, it does certainly help uh minimize and reduce that boom and bust uh feast and famine type of approach to uh to sales right that, that's right it does particularly if you can uh get the marketing to go on autopilot right then you you don't have to spend a lot of your day uh doing it and um hopefully if you're doing it right it it will produce benefits for you so oh. Yeah, absolutely right. Now, look, Brad, again, there are business owners out there, recruitment business owners out there that, um, you know, as an industry, we embrace LinkedIn. You know, LinkedIn is still for recruiters worldwide, one of the preferred, if not the preferred networks. Um, but you chose Facebook. And, and I'm really interested to know why, uh, and I think our, our viewers will be, why you as a recruitment business owner chose Facebook uh, you know I, I'm not saying over anything else but you certainly chose Facebook and you, you, you've made it a really great channel for you yeah that's right you know uh, I don't I don't think recruiters really think of Facebook as a place to do business right. um, of course LinkedIn is is so important to us and it's not, I certainly use it uh, uh, very much so 
but uh, Facebook uh, is great uh, for me because um, you know people don't expect to see a recruiter advertising on Facebook, so it, especially one that's in their industry niche. So it really does have that um, that shock value, if you will, when it comes up uh, in, in your on your wall or your feed um, to to see a recruiter uh, either advertising something or posting an article or you know talking about some industry news. You know, there's a number of things that I do with the content side, um, but that really gets attention. Uh, so that's that's one reason why why I chose Facebook. Right. You know, the other reason is um, maybe some people don't realize, but Facebook has gotten so good with how you can target people that you are very much able to really only pay for people in your industry to see uh, your ads yeah. or your sponsored content. And, um, and so that makes it a very efficient um, you know, type of, uh, of tool. Uh, and um, you know, for uh, I think uh, the minimum is still five dollars a day uh, if it hasn't gone up recently. And so you know, for as little as five dollars a day, you can really get yourself out in front of people that you know should know about you. Now, Brad, I I'm intrigued. I really am. It's like, and again, there's going to be people watching this going, "Oh my goodness, five dollars a day!" And that's how you started, right? It's like you you know, you started off and then things worked for you and you scaled it, but. Talk us through um, this strategy, $5 a day Facebook marketing for my recruitment business. How does it work? What do I need to do? Yeah. Well, first, you, you need to know how to, how to target uh, your content. And really, what it comes down to is, uh, you know, Facebook allows you to uh, choose to show your content to those that, for example, um, uh, like a certain page on Facebook. Right. Um, well, uh, if you think about it, uh, whatever industry you're in as a recruiter, there are Facebook pages for your particular industry's major associations. Yeah. You know, in my industry, there there's a there's a several, and they have Facebook followings. You know, in the in the tens of thousands. Right. So just by selecting, if you if you get no more fancy than that. Just by selecting to show your content to those people that like those industry association pages, now you're you're showing your content, um, you know, not exclusively to decision makers that might hire you, but certainly they're they're there, right? Yeah. Um, and so that's that's one thing is is how to how to target. Um, so so for example, there, Brad, I'm just thinking, you know, I, I know your space, but for anyone watching this, if I was a recruiter specializing in placing uh, accountants, it would be find a Facebook group or page that accountants like. So that could be something like, um, I don't know, Zero Software, you know, accounting software or something similar to that. Is that, yeah. that, that is right? Okay. So sure. it's, it's an interest, isn't it? It's something that people go, oh, actually, I'm... now there could be other people liking that page that aren't accountants. I'm not sure who, but it could be other people. But that would be uh, that. That be the type of thing you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that would work well too. I would imagine okay. is is a product that's used by your your audience. Sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you know, once you have the targeting right, and it doesn't have to be perfect, right? You're just it just needs to sort of be pretty close to the mark. You know, then it's really about uh, well, what what kind of um, uh, content are you going to be showing people? Mm -hmm. And there's a number of different ways to go with this. Um, and and uh, you know you can, if you're someone that has content already that you're producing, uh, whether it's a a blog or a podcast, then simply share that. Right. Um, uh, if uh, if you want to, you know, uh, share your current list of openings, I suppose you could do that. Uh, if you want it to be somewhat more of a, a profile of, of what your company is all about, um, the point is that you know you're you're showing up there in the feed, and you know every once in a while you're going to catch someone's attention that needs someone like you. Yeah. Either they need you to recruit for their company, or they need you because they're a candidate in your niche looking yeah. for assistance. Um, and you know the great thing about Facebook there's is 
the way that I do it is is I, I pay per click. Right. Uh, but uh, for every one person that might click on my ad, and I pay for that, yeah. Um, there there could be a thousand that see my ad right. and don't click. Right. Um, but that's you know that's top of mind awareness then. Yeah. When it does come time for them to need a recruiter in the space, they remember that you know mine is the company that they see every once in a while on Facebook. Yeah. And then they just do a Google search or whatever, and they and they find us. So, you know, you're you're at, you're paying for the clicks. Um, say it's a dollar a click, and you get five. If you just want to budget five dollars a day, then your five dollars is spent. You paid five dollars for the day. Right. But you're you're not just. Um, it's not just about the people that click. It's the pe- people that see it uh, in your feed. And you know what, Brad? It's worth um, kind of exploring this as well because people will say, well, you know what? Back in the day, uh, if I had un- unlimited budget and really deep pockets, I could have done a-, a billboard on the side of the road or I could have, uh, I don't know if I had loads of money, I could have done TV or re- local radio advertising. The, and, and this is really worth kind of just spelling this out for people that that type of old school advertising was pretty much scattergun. It's like you put a billboard, the number of people that are going to be going past that that may not be interested in your particular recruitment niche or whatever, or the number of people that are listening to the radio show, show that have got no interest whatsoever in your specific niche recruiting the beauty of the Facebook marketing plan that you've just described to us is that sponsored post or that sponsored advert is only going to be in front of people that should have an interest in your particular service or product. Um, and that is so powerful. That's like, you know, I'm thinking in, in on TV terms, it'd be the equivalent of knowing who likes, I don't know, cream cakes and being able to show them on tv cream cake baking tv episodes i mean it's like it's mind-blowing yeah it it is it is uh it's it's uh you're able to niche uh properly and uh like i said the unexpected factor you know because if you think about the kinds of sponsored content you see on your page um you're just not expecting to see Number one, someone from your industry, and yeah. number two, someone that um, you know is is a recruiter. It's just unexpected, and they're therefore attention grabbing. So yeah, Brad, I you know the beauty of this is that by having these sponsored updates or sponsored posts and and, and adverts for for your business, it, it gives the person not necessarily the person that clicks, but definitely the person that sees it in their feed. It gives the impression that you are everywhere. It's like you're you're almost like oh my god. So it's getting you brand awareness with exactly the right kind of targeted audience that we all want, right? Yeah, uh, that's right. And uh, you know, it also depending on your content, um, you know, positions you as as an authority, right? right. Uh, you want to expose people to what you've. Uh, what you've written about, if it, if it's a blog post or some bit of industry news that you found, um, yeah, it just it helps cement uh, in people's minds that you're not only a recruiter in their space, but you know an authority. It's brilliant. I love it, um, Brad. In terms of um, the results, you know, five dollars a day. I mean, you know. I, that's a really small amount. I mean, that's a really, really small amount. And I know it's all relative and and I'm sure that, uh, you know, you'll talk about people putting more money into it, et cetera. But for $5 a day, what kind of results could a recruitment business expect for that? You know, I'm sure it's going to, it's going to vary. Um, but, uh, you know, the, with uh, the kinds of fees that are uh, possible in our industry, you know, do the math. Uh, it doesn't take very many um, new clients to have a really great ROI for five dollars a day. And sometimes it's hard to track, right? Because people don't necessarily contact you right away when they see the sponsored content. Mm. So you don't always know that you know that client came from the ad. Uh, but sometimes it's direct, um, or maybe it's. Uh, you know, someone sees the ad and then and then 
tell someone about your company. You know, uh, they found it noteworthy to see you out on Facebook. So, yeah, I, I mean, I never bother to to sort of track um, just how well it does, right. but. You know, it's it's obvious. It's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. The other thing is, uh, you know, I don't know if uh, in the UK you, you had this um, infomercial a few years back, but this, this guy uh, was selling like this little toaster oven. Right. And, and the tagline, uh, you know, that uh, went with it was set it and forget it, right. right? You're supposed to put something in this little oven and you set it and then you just walk away and do other stuff. Well, yeah. that's how I look at this um this strategy is once you get the thing set up, yeah, maybe every once in a while you want to change the content that you're sponsoring. Sure. But, uh, you know, don't worry about it. Just go about your business. And that's, I think, the the real problem that recruiters have with marketing is maybe they'll do a bit of it, but then they get busy. Yeah. And, you know, then they let it go. Well, yeah. this strategy, you set it and forget it, right? It's... um. It's really pretty easy. I love that tagline as well, Brad. I really, <laughs> I really do. And you're right. That appeals to you know to 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 the mindset of people like me, the you know recruitment business owners that will say, you know, I've tried these different strategies before, and it's like I tried it, but it didn't work. And I think a lot of that is we try different things. You know, we're we're magpies by nature. We we are inquisitive. We are enthusiastic, but we don't carry on doing the same things because you know you know what recruitment's like it's uh it's a constantly uh, moving feast you know it shifts every single day minute by minute practically so right. the I the idea of setting something in motion and then literally this just chugs away and then and the thing we should tell people as well i mean this for me personifies this automatic recruitment marketing machine that this whole event is about which should be that the business, sorry, the, the marketing machine chugs away, does its work for you literally while you, while you sleep. It's like it's doing it 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you right. if you choose to have your sponsored uh, post going out on a Sunday and Saturday. But right. it, it just chugs away for you, right? That's right. Okay. No, absolutely. It's, uh, uh, it's, yeah, it's Brad, brilliant that way. Brad, can I can I ask you? Um, look, five dollars a day is 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 a small first step to take for people. It's a nice way for them to uh, to to dip their their, their toe in the water. Um, who should be using this strategy? You know, who should be using something like this? Well, you know, um, I, I think. Uh, really anyone that is a recruitment firm owner right. now I suppose if you're a recruiter that works for a larger firm then it gets a little bit uh, trickier sure. in terms of um, you know where where are those inquiries going uh, but that's it's not been a problem for us so right. we just have a small niche firm that I own so um, yeah I, I don't think there's any industry that it doesn't work with um, I think you could find a way to target just about any specialty that you might have as a recruiter. Uh, so, and, and I don't think it really has to cost more than $5 a day. I suppose if I spent more, I, I might get more results. But um, because so much of it is just seeing you out there and it doesn't cost me anything to have people see it, only when they click on it, I, I really don't think you need to spend a lot. Brad, this is really um, you know exciting for me as well. So you're confirming for me that at the you started off this strategy. How, how long ago have you been? Oh, sorry, how long have you been doing this? Uh, it's probably been a year now. Wow, a year. Yeah. Okay, and and right now you are still spending just five dollars a day. Yeah, I, I I experimented with spending more. Right, but I I didn't really see a difference. So. Um, I, I just I just kept the five dollars. That's fantastic. That's yeah. really really good. And Brad, look, you know, just if there's anybody that's on the fence about this, I don't, I can't see any reason why. Can you, you know, an ROI is difficult, but can you cite an example during that year that you've employed this strategy, where you know a placement has happened uh, because of this advertising strategy? Can you give us some kind of flavour of a specific case or the impact it's had on your business overall? 
Oh, sure. Um, no, I'm, I'm thinking of one client in particular that I uh, uh, don't even know if he clicked on the content but, but called me right. uh, from a Google search, and, you know, found, found my number through a Google search, um, knew the name of my company, um, and, uh, and said that he, uh, he saw me on Facebook. Um, so we, we've done uh, two placements for him in the last year. Um, there have been candidates that uh, got a hold of me through through the ad that um, you know we've presented to two other clients. So you know, I I don't know. I I imagine in past year I, I could probably if I if I actually did the research probably trace back uh, three or four placements from it. That's fantastic. So in terms of like the return for you. Uh, it's been immense that you can directly measure, but as you say, it's the, it's just that you, you're you're in their awareness. You're you know it's like uh, it's subconscious almost that mm -hmm. uh, that your firm, the name just keeps popping up for them. They feel like oh my goodness, I see this firm everywhere I go. Yeah, uh, and it's almost like you, you've got the biggest marketing budget in the world, and it's five dollars a day. Yeah. That's right. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Um, Brad, look, I'm going to ask you because again, it's this. Um, people watching this will be all over it like a rash. I know that. Uh, you know, back in the day, we used to spend fortunes on getting listing in Yellow Pages. Mm. Um, and you know, I don't know if you if you're old enough to remember those days, but um, you know, we we would we would get the basic listing for free, but then you would try and take out adverts and. We would name our recruitment businesses Aardvark Recruitment so that we could get like, or ABC in order to get to the very top. Uh, actually, Aardvark would get to the very top, ABC would be second. Um, but we used to have to spend a fortune on Yellow Pages uh, advertising with no guarantees. And it, this just sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? That's right. I mean, you can you can spend your money a lot of places, uh, and it's not that I haven't, right? I, I'm, <laughs> You've tried. I was I wasn't always this smart, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, particularly if it's on uh, marketing that's you know so niched, right? You can uh, you can get sponsored emails sent to your niche. You can you know get sponsored webinar, whatever, and those yeah. things cost a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and it, and though usually those are one and done, right? Yeah. Uh, so. People see you or they don't see you, and um, but uh, again, that that's why this is so great is that you can uh, just keep it going. Set it and forget it. Yeah, Brilliant. Um, but no, I, I never did the yellow pages, uh, <laughs> but uh, I certainly uh, you know wasted enough money elsewhere on other things. Yeah, on other things. Yeah, and, and actually, out of all of those things, yellow pages was was one of the safest bets. You know, as 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 bizarre as that sounds. Um, you know, we used to spend a fortune. It was very much scattergun marketing, uh, but it was almost the best of a bad bunch, you know. Um, it's quite funny. Okay, um, Brad, look, there'll be people watching this that go, okay, Brad, I'm on it, you know. It's like, sign me up. What do I, what do, I do? Is there like a, a simple first step that somebody could take right now, today, that gets them down the path of um, five dollars a day Facebook marketing. Well, you know, if we're talking about someone that has never um, done uh, an ad on Facebook, then I suppose there's a small learning curve to be able to set that up. Right. Um, you know, I, there's courses you can purchase, etc. You, you could probably just go on YouTube and find some videos that show you the basic of how to set up a Facebook ad. Good. So I, I'd say start there, uh, or if you have, you know, someone that you know that can uh, show you how to do that. Um, so that that's where I'd start the actual how-to, and then you know just do some thinking about what what that content is you want to expose yeah. uh, people to, and uh, you know are you already producing content that uh, you can just dual purpose. Brilliant. Um, but you know my, my my favorite really is just to to grab. Uh, you know, a, a news story from one of our industry's uh, publications, right? And just just share that with some sort of tagline that um, that explains, you know, that you're you're sharing this uh, with people that are that are in the niche. Uh, doesn't even have to be your own content. It still establishes you as an authority that you 
are aware of what's going on in your in your industry. I love that, Brad. I really do, because that, that that for me almost sounds a lot better than the you know the classic let's just post a job you know it's like we, we got used to that we let's just post a job on twitter let's just post a job uh on on uh, you know a job board that feels like to me by posting content that's either my own or somebody else's that feels like i'm giving something um and if i give something there's a feeling of that might be reciprocated that might be appreciated and reciprocated yeah yeah sure i really like that um brad look wow I'm, i i can't wait to get you know off this interview in the nicest possible way and start creating my five dollar a day uh facebook marketing plans i hope that there's there's people out there taking action right now um brad I, i've got to thank you you know as a speaker really generous as a recruitment business owner to share that strategy with the world's recruiters, uh, possibly some competitors as well. I think that's that's overly generous of you. Um, you're probably kicking yourself now, thinking, "Damn, I didn't <laughs> know there were going to be so many <laughs> watching it." But right. um, on be on behalf of uh, of everybody, I'd really like to say thank you very much, uh, Brad Wachter. Thank you. Well, thanks, Roy. It's been great being with you. Cool.